Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to be more efficient while working with large data sets in Excel. Here I have a dummy data set with company name in column A, country name in column B and KPI level data uh, in subsequent columns. You can see this is a huge data set that extends way to the right till column BT. Now, if you have this kind of data set and you need to refer to uh, data sets that's on the extreme right, you may have to scroll back and forth in this data. Uh, I'll show you a way to do this efficiently. You go to View tab and in View you have an option of Split. So Split divide the window into different panes that each scroll separately. So if you click on Split, it will divide your screen into four panes. You can see the, these uh, grey coloured lines that are actually splitting your screen. Now you can see there are additional scroll bars at the bottom uh, of your sheet so you have an additional horizontal scroll bar for the left half and right half similarly you have an additional horizontal scroll bar for the top half and bottom half now if you have to refer to a KPI level data say KPI 1 and you need to see what is the trend or what is the value of KPI uh, 60 so you can just simply go here to KPI 60 and see what is the value. Uh, in case you do not need these four panes, you just need a vertical pane, just go to the horizontal line and double click on this and it will go away. So you'll just have two panes where you can refer to this data. This is, uh, is a useful trick when you have a huge data set and you need to scroll back and forth in this data. Uh, this technique is applicable only for a worksheet so if you add additional worksheet here it will not have those panes this will be applicable only in the sheet where you have applied it in case you want to remove the panes just go to view tab split and click this button again and your panes would be gone now suppose you have the same data set and in this case you have referenced this data in some other sheet. So for example here in this sheet I say that this would be the sum of KPI 1 and KPI 2. So this is my value. Now if I need to change this value and see what the final result is, is I will have to come back here and change the value and then go to sheet 6 to see what the change is. This is okay if I just have one or two values but in case I have a lot of changes this may get a bit frustrating and might take up a lot of time. So to get more efficient in this case again go to view tab and in this case, uh, case have a look at new window option. So this open a second window for your document so you can work in different places at the same time. So have a look at the name of this Excel workbook. It's book one. <coughs> now if I select new window see what happens instantly I have two new workbooks the one first one is book 1 uh, colon 1 which is this one so I have book 1 colon 1 and the other one is book 1 colon 2 what this has done is it has created two exact replicas of book 1 and named them as book 1 colon 1 and book 1 colon 2 any change if I make in book 1 would instantly be reflected in book 2 so to again get back to my example if I want to change the value and see how it is reflected I'll go to view and I'll go to arrange all this will stack my windows I choose vertically and as soon as I do this I can see that both book 1 and book 2 book 1 colon 1 and book 1 colon 2 are stacked vertically so now if I make any change here it would instantly be reflected in both the workbooks so if I go here and I change the color you can see that it's, it's instantly reflected here a good part of this technique is that this would work for different worksheets as well. So for example here I have worksheet 1 selected I, and if I select sheet 6 here I can still make the changes in this case and see what, uh, what changes are reflected here in B2. So for example I make this as 40% and I can instantly see that what the change has appeared here. This is again a very good technique if you have a lot of reference data uh, or dashboards and you can instantly see what the changes are. Once you are done with all the changes close any one of these uh, workbooks and the original one would reappear with the applied changes. So for example here I close book 1 colon 2 and look at the names how it changes as soon as I close this this is the book uh, this is the workbook that I'm left with and it's uh, with the original name book one 
That's it for this video. Hope you found this useful. For more such tips and tricks, visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a nice day.